Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. This is going to be a tag video. It is the 7 Deadly Sins of Beauty tag. And I was tagged a bunch of times for this and months ago and then again recently. So I was like, um, I'm going to do it. And hopefully you guys like it. Um, before I get started, I wanted to just um, show you guys this really cute bracelet I got. Um, one of my lovely subscribers, she's so sweet, her name is Arklyn. Hopefully I'm not saying that wrong, but um, she has really gorgeous jewelry pieces that she makes on Etsy. So this is what mine looks like. It's just like a chain with a turquoise stone. And you guys know I love turquoise. Um, so I just wanted to tell her thank you. Um, I'll put her link below so you guys can check out her other jewelry pieces. Um, yeah, so just a quick mini shout out for her. Thank you for sending it to me. I absolutely love it. So, okay, now on to the beauty tag. Um, I'm going to be looking on my phone because that's where I have all the questions. So, um, yeah, let's just get started. So, basically, it just goes through all the seven deadly sins, like, uh, and asks questions related to beauty. So, the first one is greed. What is your most inexpensive beauty item? What is your most expensive? And the most inexpensive, I would have to say, is pretty much anything from e.l.f., uh, but my favorite thing from them that's very, very cheap, it's only a dollar, um, would have to be the e.l.f. Dramatic Eyelashes. They are not super dramatic, but they're definitely wearable for every day if you wanted to wear them every day. Um, I really love them and they're only a dollar. You can get them um, on the e.l.f. website or um, I know some Targets sell them in stores, so... Love them. Only a dollar. The most expensive beauty items. I'm not sure which one is more expensive, but I would definitely have to say the most expensive things that I have makeup wise would be the Naked Palettes. I think they're like 50 something dollars. I'm really not even sure. I bought this one so long ago and I think this one was like, this one might have been a little more expensive. I'm not really sure, but they are definitely pricey, but when you think about it, you get so much for your money. I mean, you get all these eyeshadows, and I've had this since 2010 when it first came out, um, so long ago, and I'm not even close to hitting pan on like any of them, and I use it all the time. Um, same with this, I know that the colors are very similar, and um, I like how this one has a much more durable case, it looks better, it's probably going to hold up better. But they're definitely worth the money, and I've gotten questions of which one I like better. And personally, I don't know if it's because I've had it longer, but I actually really like the first one a lot better. Um, the colors are more flattering on my skin tone, I feel. So, yeah, these are definitely the most expensive beauty item that I have. But when you think about it, it when you, and you break it down, it's really not expensive. Like, you're getting a lot for your money. The next one is Wrath. What beauty products do you have a love-hate relationship? What product has been the hardest to get? Um, I'm going to have to do something in general. There isn't a specific makeup product that I have a love-hate relationship with, but in general, it would have to be mascara. Like, I love mascara. I love buying mascaras. I love trying new ones. But the thing is with me, even though, even if I find a mascara that I really, really like, my natural lashes, they just suck. So no matter how much I like the mascara, it's never going to make my lashes look how I want them to. They're never going to be comparable to false lashes. Even if I use mascaras that are called falsies or false lash fibers or whatever, um, it just makes me mad, and it also makes me mad because in the commercials, the girls are always, always, always wearing false lashes, and it just makes me so annoyed. I'm like, I don't know if there, everyone in the world realizes that these girls are wearing false lashes, but your lashes, 99% of the time, are not going to look like that unless you put falsies on. So, it just annoys me, and I love trying new mascaras, but they, I just never find ones that I am just like, okay, well, I'm not even going to want to wear false lashes, you know. So, I don't know. definitely love mascara. And it's definitely an essential. Even when I do wear falsies, I still wear mascara with them, you know, just to make them more bold and bl blend everything together. Um, the a second part of that question is, what product has been the hardest to get? Um, there hasn't really been any items that are super hard for me to get. I don't live near a Mac, so 
that would probably be the items that I find are hardest to get just because I don't have easy access to them unless I drive like at least an hour. So I guess that would be my um, hardest item to get. I don't really go after limited edition things, so I don't know. Number three, gluttony. What is your most delicious beauty products? Um, I would have to say any of the Bonnie Bell lip lights, they smell and taste so good. Um, obviously, strawberry parfait, um, cappuccino, caramel latte, they all smell and taste so good you just like want to eat them. So I absolutely love them. They're definitely the tastiest thing in my collection. Not that I go around tasting things, but personally, I don't like the smell or taste of MAC lip products. I don't know. I, I know a lot of people probably do, but I just feel like the smell is so overwhelming. Like it's so close to your nose that it's just like, it, it just kind of bothers me actually, to be perfectly honest. Um, next one, Loth. What beauty product do you neglect due to laziness and this one was a no-brainer for me it's definitely primer face primer eye primer I don't do primers like I just feel like it's an unnecessary step for me just because I don't really need it my eye makeup doesn't really crease unless I'm like outside in the summertime my eye makeup like my eyeshadow doesn't really crease and I know being a beauty guru like primer 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 make sure you prime your eyes I'm lying. I don't like prime my eyes. Like, if you see me do it in a tutorial, it's because I'm doing a tutorial. Um, if when I go out or get ready to go out, I never ever use primer. And the only time I've ever used face primer was I think I was like getting my picture taken for my pageant. Oh, and in my pageant, I wore primer um, just because I was like, oh, this is gonna be the right thing to do. But I didn't really notice a huge 100% difference so that would definitely be my laziness I don't I don't see a huge difference maybe because I don't use it enough I don't really know um, next is pride what beauty product gives you the most self-confidence I would definitely have to say that it could, it's either mascara because you know if you just throw on mascara before you walk out the door it definitely just opens your eyes up and makes you look more awake and just like makes you look better but then when I think about it a lot of the time like if I am just going out quick and I don't want to look like crap the thing that I will throw on is bronzer because um you know my skin color it's not that I use it to make me look super tan my face is a lot paler than the rest of my body naturally and it's very kind of it's more olive tone, you know, so when I don't have anything on, I look kind of sickly. In person especially, it just looks very yellow, yellow and kind of greenish. And So when I, if I just throw some browns around, I just feel like I look more healthy. I feel like everyone looks better when they have a little bit of color on their face. So that's personally just me. So I probably would have to say bronzer. And you know, the thing is, bronzer is one of my favorite things to buy and my NARS Casino is my go-to. And that's one of my more expensive items that I'm willing to splurge on because, you know, I use it all the time and it's just one of my all-time favorite go-to products that I must have at all times. You know, I will always have bronzer in my purse or my makeup bag. So, number six, lust. What attributes do you find most attractive in the opposite sex? And I'm assuming this is asking physical attributes. So, um, I'd have to say number one thing, and I'm sure like 99% of girls out there are going to agree with me, is teeth. Like, teeth are so important. And I don't know. If a guy has gross teeth, like, it's... It's an automatic turnoff. Like, if you see a guy and you think he's cute and then he opens his mouth and you're like, eh, then, you know, that is a problem. And, you know, it's, you sh your teeth should be straight. They should not be rotting out of your head. That's not good. Go to the dentist. Um, and they shouldn't be yellow. Like, I don't know. Teeth is just really important. And it, I mean, just brush your teeth. I know if you have, like, um, issues like if you need braces or something, you know, brushing your teeth isn't gonna like magically, magically um, get rid of that. But I feel like I had braces, I had um, palette expanders, retainers, I've had like five different retainers, I still have a permanent retainer in my teeth. Like teeth are really important because they're one of the first things that people notice about you and I am just like a sucker for like perfect straight 
nice teeth smiles. Like my boyfriend, he has like the most perfect teeth ever. I just love his teeth so much. Like I don't, I wish my had better teeth, but you know, I had braces and all that. So teeth guys don't have jacked up teeth and then maybe you'll land a girl. I don't know. Other attributes, it's not physical, but it's definitely important to me. You have to be funny and you have to like have like the same kind of sense of humor. I definitely think it's attractive when a guy can make you laugh. And you know, the saying is, if it's like some Marilyn Monroe thing, if a guy can make you laugh, he can make you do anything. And I mean, that's pretty true. Like, that is definitely something that I look for in a guy. If you're not funny to me, uh, or if you come off like too hard that you're trying to be funny, like that's so unattractive. So just be real and be funny. The next and the final question would be what items would you most like to receive as a gift and I don't really ever ask for makeup or anything as gifts because you know it's so hard for other people to pick out stuff for you. So I would have to say that I like to receive like you know perfumes, lotions, body sprays, anything like that. You can get me anything from Bath and Body Works and I will love it. I mean there's not anything in that store that someone could give me and I'd be like ew like what is this like it you know. So lotions, perfumes, body sprays can't go wrong with that. Who doesn't want to smell good? Oh that's another thing that I didn't mention before. When a guy smells good oh my god girls you know what I'm talking about like it just makes them that more attractive, you know? Like, if you are always smelling good, you will get girls, probably. Maybe. E, I don't know. Okay, so that's the whole tag. Um, I actually really enjoyed this tag. Uh, so I tag all you guys to do it. Feel free to leave a video response. Um, I would love to watch them. Or if you want to write in a comment, you know, an answer. I don't really know. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thank you again, Arklin, for sending me this really cute bracelet. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon.